an old guitar amplifier, there's a good chance you need to replace some electronic components that are degrading and causing poor performance. This video will show you how these were replaced in one amplifier. What was revealed when locating the components needed of replacement was an eyelet fiberboard assembly, capacitor mounted and soldered to a metal chassis, and a highway of wires. When comparing a printed circuit board and eyelet fiberboard assembly, you will see a notable difference between the two. When comparing how a component is mounted on a pad of a circuit board, there is only one side of the component soldered, while on an eyelet fiberboard assembly, you have as many as that can fit in an eyelet. A desoldering tool is used to remove the solder from a circuit pad and component lead. However, when you have multiple leads in one eyelet, it might be difficult to remove enough solder from all the leads and eyelet to be able to remove the lead of a component to be replaced. In this case, it's probably best to reflow the solder and while still molten, remove the lead. You could also try to put in the replacement component the same way you removed it without desoldering. But Desoldering would allow you to prepare the component to have a nice length, bend, and ensure the lead will fit in the eyelet. When hookup wires are present, there is a potential of insulation to be damaged with a soldering tool. You can protect the insulation with material that will create a barrier between the heat and insulation. Here we have used a small piece cut out from the WPA-12 work pad used to protect surfaces. This piece can be held in place with a clamping device or tape. When components are soldered to a metal chassis, it presents a challenge when replacing it. To be able to reflow the solder on a metal chassis requires the correct mass tip and maximum contact possible to deliver the heat. To remove a component soldered to a metal chassis, first remove the connected wires and components. Protect wire insulation that could come in accidental contact with a soldering tool. We will now reflow the solder and remove what we can around the component tabs. This will help in reducing the ability for the heat to be lost to the chassis. We need to use a tool to pry the tab away from the chassis along with the heat if there is minimal gap between the two. Repeat process as necessary on other tabs. When installing a new component, make sure the tabs that are to be soldered to the chassis is clean and ready to accept solder. We hope this video coverage was beneficial in providing you with knowledge in what you may come across servicing other electronic equipment.